Introduction Rohan and Rima were playing in the garden. They were swinging on a seesaw. Rima, I like playing on this swing. Yes, even I like to move up and down. Do you know we are sitting on a machine? Machine? Where is it? This seesaw itself is a machine. How interesting! Kids, let us learn more about simple machines in this chapter. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you will be able to Explain when work is done Describe simple machines Discuss importance of simple machines in our life List the various simple machines When is work done? Hey, I am running. I use energy when I run. So energy is the ability to do work. Now, it's time for weightlifting. These are dumbbells. Uplifting the dumbbell is a heavy work. We apply force using energy. We get energy from the food we eat. While using this energy, we can move an object. This movement of an object is known as work. Simple machine Let us define simple machines. Machines that have few or no moving parts are called simple machines. The beauty of the simple machines is that they are used as extension of our muscles. There are six types of simple machines. They are inclined plane, wheel and axle, pulley, liver, wedge and screw. We will learn about each machine in detail but after a short activity. Inclined plane An inclined plane is a flat surface that is higher at one end and it makes Work easier equal to longer distance takes less effort. It is a simplest machine because nothing moves to make it work. A ramp, a slide and stairs are the examples of inclined plane. Wheels and axle Do you enjoy riding bicycle? Then you are using the simple machine wheel and axle. In this, a wheel turns on a post to help move things quickly and easily. The wheels in a bicycle, steering of car, door knob are also the examples of wheels and axles. Pulley See this boy. He is taking out the water from the well. But he is not able to pull the bucket. Now he is pulling the bucket of water with the help of pulley. A pulley uses a wheel and a rope to lift the load. Since it is used to pull the things, that's why it is called pulley. It is used in crane, a flagpole and a mini blind. Levers How do you think a seesaw works on the ground? As such, you cannot lift your friend so high. But when you are at the other end of seesaw, it is so easy to lift him. When you and your friend are sitting at the two ends of the seesaw, it has a fixed point at center. This fixed point is called fulcrum. The force you apply to lift your friend is called effort. Your friend at the other end is the load. A lever is a straight bar that moves on a fixed point. A lever helps you to move a load easier. The examples of lever are seesaw, plier and a bottle opener. There are three types of levers. Let us discuss them in detail in our next screen. First class lever. Can you lift a giant stone with your hands? 
The answer is no. But you can do it easily with help of a stick, which is a first class liver in this case. In first class liver, fulcrum is at center. It is located anywhere between the load and effort. Crowbars and scissors are the example of first class livers. In case of scissors, fulcrum is at the center. It is fixed and effort is to put from the back and load is from front. Second class liver. It seems these children are enjoying the ride on this wheelbarrow. Their father is using a second class liver to carry them. In the second class liver, effort is on one side, the fulcrum at the other side and load at the center. A wheelbarrow, a nutcracker or a bottle opener are the examples of second class liver. Third class liver Many people enjoy fishing. For this, they use a fishing rod which is a third class liver. In case of fishing rod, effort is in the center. Load is on one side and fulcrum at another end. This type of liver is called the third class liver. Arm, fishing rod, broom, stapler are the examples of third class livers. Screws Screw is also a simple machine. It looks like a nail. A nail with grooves. A screw is an inclined plane wrapped around a shaft. It takes less force to turn a screw because a screw moves a longer distance. A screw, a cock screw and a jar lid are the examples. A nail comes out easily, but a screw doesn't. We can hang up the loads on the screws on the walls. We can close a jar tight with the help of screws. The screw in a jack moves and takes the car up. A simple screw can lift a car. That is the reason it is called a simple machine. Wedges A wedge is a two inclined planes together used to raise an object or split an object. Knife, axe head, screwdriver, chisel are few examples of wedges. Summary Let us summarize what we have learnt. Work is result of force moving an object. Lifting something heavy is hard work. Machines that have few or no moving parts are called simple machines. There are six types of simple machines. They are inclined plane, wheel and axle, pulley, lever, wedge and screw. An inclined plane is a flat surface that is higher at one end. It makes the work easy. In wheel and axle, a wheel turns on a post to help move things quickly and easily. A pulley uses a wheel and a rope to lift the load. A lever is a straight bar that moves on a fixed point. A lever makes it easier to move a load. In first class lever, fulcrum is at center. Effort is at one side and the load is at another side. In the second class liver, effort on one side, the fulcrum at other side and load at the center. In third class liver, effort is between the load and the fulcrum. A screw is an inclined plane wrapped around a shaft. Two inclined planes together forming a sharp edge is called a wedge.